everybody. We are so close to the Rose Doll Show, and this is my last update prior to the Rose Doll Show. I'm going to share with you the two fantasy babies that I'm going to be bringing to the Rose Doll Show. Um, I was encouraged not to bring any fantasy babies to the Rose Doll Show. Um, my original plan was to bring 10 dolls, 5 fantasy, and 5 typical reborns. And I've revised that a little bit. I'm going to be bringing 9 uh, tour contest babies, um, so 7 with five realistic and two fantasy. But I could not just not bring any fantasy dolls. That's the reason that I really got into painting my own reborns is because people were just not making the fantasy babies that I wanted to see. Uh, and my husband jokingly says that I, I sell the realistic babies so I can afford to paint the fantasy babies for my collection. So um, because my theme this year is going to be Alice in Wonderland, um, I decided that my reborns, my fantasy reborns, should match that theme as well. So here's the first one, and he is the white rabbit. Isn't he adorably cute? My goodness, this uh, journey to make this little white rabbit, and he is just not focusing. Let's see if we can move that out of the way, if that will help. Yeah, it does help a little bit. Um, I originally... Um, wanted him to be the Rebecca kit by Reva Schick. But um, honestly, sometimes kits don't act the way we want them to act. And they, I swear they have a mind of their own and they, they want to be what they want to be. And that kit, I painted and stripped it three times trying to turn it into the White Rabbit. And it just didn't work. And finally, I got to the point that it just wouldn't strip anymore. So um, now that kit has become my one of my test kits. Um, and instead I got, this is the Inga kit by Ann Timmerman. And it worked out beautifully. Now in real life, this isn't really true to color. He looks like he has a very fair skin tone. But actually he um, is um, has white with accents of gray. He's got gray eyelashes and two cute little buck teeth. Those are plastic, not painted on. And his head's not attached yet, so hopefully nothing happens when I do this. Uh, he's got um, painted hair, which is really, really cute. And his, um, his onesie has um, little bunny rabbits on it and his socks have little bunny rabbits on them as well. Maybe if I, yeah, okay, there you go. So if I put my hand up there, you can see that he is a very, very, um, I actually used nail tip white to paint his skin tone um, with accents of white, pure titanium white and gray. So he's my first fantasy little one. And then of course, you can't have an Alice in Wonderland tea party theme without the Mad Hatter, and this is my version of the Mad Hatter. This is the Sophie kit. Um, she's an 18-inch kit, and I've made him to resemble um, Johnny Depp in the the last uh, Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. So he's a character baby. He has this beautiful hat, which unfortunately does not stay in his head. It is really, really heavy for how small it is, and I might change that out. Um, a bottle that says drink me mismatched socks and just like the movie he has this bobbin bandolier which I made for him a big bow and crazy rooted bright orange hair one thing I'm not entirely sure about him is um, in the movie I was re-watching the movie the other day and um, Johnny Depp has very pronounced upper and lower white eyelashes. He just has upper white eyelashes. So if you want to comment in the comments below, I do have enough time that I could really quick pop some lower eyelashes on him to make him a little more like that. And then I wasn't sure on the eyebrows either if I wanted to root something because he does have crazy eyebrows in the film. But I figure as a baby, maybe not so much. So that's why I didn't give him, I just gave him some painted eyebrows. And then if you want to comment about the hair, I'm also not quite sure. The hair might be a little bit long. Um, it's always better with a reborn to 
to have it be a little bit long than to be a little bit short because of course their hair doesn't grow. But I'm thinking proportionally it might be better if it were more and more angled, like kind of like that. So yeah, if you want to make any comments about him um, below, like I said, I do have enough time. I could really quickly um, make some of those changes and I'd love your impact and, impact and feedback on that. So I hope you enjoy the two fantasy babies that I'm taking to the Rose Doll Show. And I do have one more contest baby as well, but you won't get to see anything about that until after the Rose Doll Show. So wish me luck to TFN. Ta-ta for now.